In this video, I'm going to show you how to run Linux while you're still running Windows. And this video is really meant to those people out there who've heard about Linux and are wondering how can they actually use Linux for the first time or even use Linux without having to install it on a separate computer altogether. So this offers some distinct advantages because you can actually use Linux and run it within Windows. And at the same time, you can actually have a Windows operating system running and a Linux running at the same time. So there are obviously some advantages of doing this. So we're going to use some free products here. First of all, we're going to use something called VM Player. And VM Player is a free download from VMware, which allows you to install it on the Windows machine. And that way you can actually run virtual computers. And these virtual computers do not have to be Linux. They can be other ones as well, including Windows operating systems. But let's go ahead and download uh, VM Player. Go to VMware.com and you can see there's other products here. And what you're going to do is click on the VM Player. And you can see download a free copy of VM Player and try it for yourself. It's going to ask you to register, I, think, I believe, put your name and email in. Not a big deal. And after you've downloaded, it's very basic to install. You just double click on that EXE and it's going to launch the install. Let's go ahead and run that. We'll click on next, click on next. You have an option here to create shortcuts. I'm going to remove the quick launch toolbar and install. So very straightforward to install VM player. So let's click finish and then the installation is now complete. It's going to ask us to restart. So we're going to restart. So now that we've installed VMware as a VM player, let's go on to our next step. And I'd like you to go to this website here, www.vmplanet.net. This is a fantastic website for downloading virtual appliances that already have software installed for you, including the operating system. In fact, if you go here, you'll see there's different versions of Linux that you can actually download using virtual appliances. So you can see there's Open Solaris 2008.05, there's Ubuntu, or Fedora. So I'm not going to go through them all, but this what this website allows you to do is actually download the virtual appliances. So it's one less step you have to worry about. The, the other option is to actually start VM Player and install the operating systems from scratch. But by using VM Planet, that step is actually alleviated. So if we go to read more here for Ubuntu, and if you scroll down, you'll see your link here for Ubuntu VMware image. So I've actually already downloaded this. And you'll see it's going to download it as a compressed file. This one uses 7-zip, thus the 7-z extension. And you're going to have to uncompress the software, which I've already done here. You can see it's much, much larger than what the compressed version was. And I want to show you another website as well. I use a archive utility called iZark. And if you go to www.izark.org, which is I-Z-A-R-C.org, you'll come across what they say is the ultimate freeware archive utility. And it is pretty cool because it supports plenty of archive formats. You can see 7-Zip here is one of them. So it's pretty easy to uncompress. You just right-click. You can see I have iZark already here, and it's going to say, well, where do you want to extract it to? It's going to take some time because the file is quite large. But I've already done it. So after you've done it, the next step is to find a file that has a VMX extension. You can see it's Ubuntu, gives me the version VMX, and that's your VMware configuration file. So let's double click on that. It's going to ask us to accept the license agreement. 
This is because we're launching VMware Player for the first time. See this message pops up. This virtual machine may have moved or copied. Do you know if you moved or copied this virtual machine? And we're going to say we copied it. Click OK. And as you can see, you're actually starting up Linux for the first time. So as you can see, Ubuntu is now started. And it's asking for us a username. So if you go back to the VM Planet website, you'll see right here where it says login, VM Planet, and the password is vmplanet.net. So let's go there. And there it is. We're now logged into the Ubuntu 8.04. Congratulations. That was very easy to do. And we now have a Linux operating system running in Windows. As I mentioned before, VM Planet is a great place to download VMware images. So not only can you use Ubuntu, there are plenty of other Linux flavors or distributions you can test. And from there, once you get comfortable, if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and install Ubuntu on a dedicated workstation. But once again, the advantage of doing it this way is you do not need any dedicated hardware or a separate box to install or play with Linux for the first time. So that's it. Thanks for watching. My name's Simon.